SOCAF, one of the world's largest convenings at the intersection of money and meaning. And today, it's a real privilege because we're here with Van Jones, who is a globally recognized Catalyst best-selling author, uh, both in the clean jobs arena as well as human rights. He served in the White House with the Obama administration. He's also a serial entrepreneur himself, having launched three successful nonprofit organizations. But to put it under a broad umbrella, I'd say catalyst, movement maker, iconoclastic, you know, incredible, incredible man and entrepreneur. Um, so with that said, Van, I'm just curious, what are you doing here at SoCap? What draws you to this community? So I wanted to come here and be around folks who really understand that we can build the future that we want. And uh, that the, the two, I think the two big crises right now are spiritual and economic. And this is a place that's trying to deal with both at the same time. How do you uh, uh, use the power of entrepreneurship to identify and solve problems? Hmm. But how do you make sure some of the problems that you're solving are problems for humanity and for the planet, and not just the problems of your own pocketbook not be, being full enough? Hmm. And so it's a great place for me to be. Hmm. What, what's, got, what's got you on fire right now? What's the thing that yeah. you're thinking about in the shower and that's keeping you up at night? Just, you know, uh, my love for democracy I mean, and, and, and wanting to see a counterbalance in our uh, society to what the Tea Party has been able to achieve. That's and right. so we're creating this thing called the American Dream Movement. Mm. And so, so we progressive patriots can stick up for the American Dream. Mm. And we're building a platform called rebuildthedream.com mm. uh, to support the American Dream Movement, the same way that Freedom mm. Works and Americans for Prosperity and Liberty Labs support the Tea Party Movement. Yeah. And so yeah. you, you, you talk, you know, entrepreneurship isn't just in the uh, marketplace for consumers. Right. Entrepreneurship is, is also in the civic, civic space for citizens. Mm. And that's really what I love to, to be a, a part of. Mm. How is technology playing into this? How, how are you leveraging uh, I mean, the new explosions in the yes. ability to bring together crowds and so on with technology. Well, it, it is a, a, just a great time to be an entrepreneur. Mm. The low cost, high leverage tools that are available to you mm. are just unbelievable. Mm. I think people need context and community for information. Mm. And technology, I think we should see it more as like a digital campfire mm. that we're trying to build mm. community around. Yep. And the most important thing is, you know, what are the stories we're telling around that campfire? And in terms of, seems that everything you're talking about is values driven, very, yes. very much so. Yes. Mm -hmm. how, how do you stumble upon that value that drives you beyond just, you know, productivity and innovation? See, the, the thing is, whatever you're doing, whatever you're selling, mm -hmm. uh, half the time there's 12 other people doing the same thing. Yep. And so there's a, a differentiator can come if you can add some more meaning to it. And I think you're going to see more and more people, especially some of the top end consumers, they're, they're going to be purchasing meaning. They're going to be, they, they want to badge themselves. As long, I tell you what, mm -hmm. as long as your customer is just looking for value, yep. somebody can outcompete you. Yep. If they're looking for value plus values, right. you can always have that relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, how you got to look at it as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. And I'm just curious, what, what is the most difficult part about about what you're working on right now, what you're working towards? Well, I mean, it, it's, you know, I, I pretty much live in airports now. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's a metaphor of my life now is just sort of, you know, being in an airplane. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm not where I want to be, and I'm not where I was. Yeah. Uh, this past month I've been home a lot more, which feels good. Mm. Uh, but I'm also working on a book, so then that, that cuts into the time. I mean, part of the thing, and I think the, the challenge is, you better make sure what you're working on, you're working on for more than money. Yeah. What's going to happen to you, if you're just doing it for money, mm -hmm. is, you know, when, you, when your run's over and you're, you're, you're in the, your deathbed or whatever the thing is, you're going to have a lot of regret. Mm -hmm. Because the money's just not worth it. I mean, I've, I've had money, I've not had money. You know, what makes life worth it is a community that you build, mm -hmm. it's relationships that you have, it's a contribution that you make. Yeah. And very few people at the end of their life say, I wish I had worked harder to make money. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are very few people at the end of their yeah, lives, yeah, yeah, very few people <laughs> at the end of their say, I wish I worked harder and made more money yeah. uh, to, leave to, to leave them to my family, to leave to a charity, or to leave, to, or, or to leave my bank account, or to leave for them to fight over in the wills. And, and that. No, most people say, I wish I had spent more time with people I cared about. My challenge to, uh, as a social entrepreneur is I love my family and I also see a big extended family called humanity mm. that I'm always trying to balance my responsibilities to. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, Van, thank you so much. It's been yeah. a real privilege. I appreciate and, you. Uh, I look forward to the next conversation. Thank you. Looking forward to it as well.